So my parents moved from Green Street to to um, my current, the current house that my parents live in, 705 King Lane Drive, um, Selma. And uh, we were the first African-American family to move there. And my brothers and I integrated uh, that uh, elementary school, Cedar Park. Uh, I remember our home being toilet papered. I think I was in the second grade when we moved uh, into that house. My parents are still at that house today. Um, but I remember the, the, the I remember vividly uh, coming home, uh, my dad, uh, I would, the routine was I would uh, go to my, all of us would go where my dad, to the, to the gymnasium where my dad would usually be practicing, the, the team would be practicing, and we'd all come home. My mom uh, and dad both worked at Selma High School. Um, and so, um, uh, I remember the, 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 uh, the front yard being toilet papered, and I, I remember asking my parents, why was it being t toilet papered? Um, and my mother, uh, I think, wanted to skirt the issue. My dad is a plain talker, and he said, because some of the people in the neighborhood don't want us here. And I can remember thinking to myself, but why would they not want us here? I think I thought about the fact that two doors down was uh, a friend of mine from school, and three doors down was another friend from school, and the other way, two doors down, another friend from school. And I just couldn't imagine why they wouldn't want to welcome us uh, to the neighborhood. I can also remember two years after that, um, the, uh, seeing another person's uh, home being toilet papered and asking my parents, uh, oh, and seeing a white woman and a white man going, uh, going into the house. And I remember asking my mom, well, why are they, why is their house being toilet papered? They're not black. And my mother said, there's all kinds of racisms, racism, and sometimes there are shades of gray. And my dad says, that's a Jewish family. Didn't know what that meant. Uh, but my brothers go to school the next uh, day after they moved in, and there was a, um, a white kid that was being bullied in their class because he wore a yarmulke. And my brothers were taller uh, and, and than Eric. His name was Eric Ben. And Eric uh, became my brother's best friend. Uh, and the very next day uh, after um, he was merc really mercilessly uh, teased by the kids because he wore a yarmulke, um, the next day all three of them walked into the classroom with a yarmulke. And um, I think that they were fast friends ever since. Um, and so it was my first lesson in uh, shades of gray, if you will, that the world is not just black and white. Um, and that, that discrimination uh, takes all forms uh, and 